sure you guys heard about Megyn Kelly's debut on NBC News after she had left Fox News to join NBC, who gave her a ton of money. And there was actually a rerun of like 60 Minutes and House Funny videos or some shit that got more viewers than her debut did. What she decided to do, irrationally in my opinion, was to basically give a mainstream platform on NBC, give massively major headlines to this idiot who legit says that Sandy Hook, um, sorry, Sandy Hook victims, so the children who were murdered, slaughtered, killed by this maniac, um, just shot him, mercilessly killed them in a school. You know, school's like the one place where you're supposed to feel safe, right? Because at home, a lot of times you have abusive family. But at school, you're supposed to feel safe where you're in an area where, hey, I have friends, I have classmates. That prospect is extremely dangerous. And I think that it's the um, the result or the detriment of an abstract sense of everyone should have guns. But anyways, on to the point here. Um, Alex Jones had done an interview on there, and even Bill O'Reilly had come out against it, which is bonkers. He himself said that, actually, um, his interview with David Duke was a poor idea. But Alex Jones' former wife says, quote, he looked like a moron during the Megyn Kelly interview. Here's another quote, quote, he's a fraud and a fake, and I really think Megyn Kelly really showed that. Um... See, there has been much debate over whether NBC's Megyn Kelly managed to take down right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones on her show Sunday night, but Jones' former wife was impressed. So, this prospect that somehow you can take down someone with an irrational to that point, it's like trying to debate a flat earther. The only thing you're doing is you're giving them legitimacy, you're giving them a platform, you're giving them attention, which is what they want, right? Um, <clears throat> quote, he's a fraud and a fake, and I really think Megyn Kelly showed that, Kelly Jones told Inside Edition. She did a fantastic job of showing who Alex is and the hypocrite he is and the influence he has. It's safe to say that Kelly Jones has a certain bias against the radio and website host. Uh, she was married to him for 12 years before they divorced in 2015. They went through a high-profile child custody uh, trial a few months ago. We covered that. Um, trial that happened he ended up losing custody because the dude is an egotistical maniac who was indeed um, diagnosed with I think it was um, I forget what it was but um, they say Kelly Jones said that she she still bothered that her ex-husband claims the Sandy Hook school shooting that killed 20 children was t faked by liberals to promote gun control quote I think it's horrific she told Inside Edition I don't know how he can sleep at night if he was at, at all apologetic. So, again, it gave legitimacy to a moron conspiracy theorist who has no um, logical ideas in the first place. Plus, he he already admitted that his whole thing is fake. It's to get views. And I, I think to a certain extent that's what it is. Because can any rational human being state such things such as this? No, it's not possible. He said they're turning the frogs gay. I don't know what's turning, I think maybe it was Soros, I don't know what's turning the frogs gay, but this dude is just a massive moron, total, absolute moron. What's up guys, it's Saul Hill here, you guys are watching the Progressive Voice, make sure you guys click subscribe down below, we're fighting Donald Trump tooth and nail and we need your help.